Welcome to CAM Look, your daily dose of Cincinnati Art Museum's collection. Each weekday, a staff member or volunteer will be sharing an object from the museum's permanent collection and posing questions. Please check back at 10 a.m. every day for a new work and a new conversation. My name is Kristen Spangenberg and I'm curator of prints. I'm going to talk to you about some of the Frank Duvenek etchings that appear in the current exhibition, Frank Duvenek, American Master, which closes March 28th. Frank Duvenek spent a year in Boston and then returned to Venice in November 1882. And he took up printmaking again with a vengeance. He started using larger plates and bolder, warmer, etched lines in a more realist vein. We are looking at Piazza San Marco, which was done in 1883. This is the prime destination in Venice. You are looking at the left facade of the Basilica. Note the woman with the pa parasol. She is protecting herself from the hot Mediterranean sun. And in the foreground are children um, feeding a frenzy of pigeons. To the right, you notice a passageway. This print is a mirror image of the actual scene that you would see if you were standing in the plaza. Behind the basilica is the Bridge of Sighs. Uh, and here you see the next print I'm talking about. On the left is the Doge's Palace and on the right is the prison. Again, the subject is reversed left to right as a result of the printing process. Duvenek did two versions of this print. This version you are looking at was done in 1883. And note the large gondola going under the bridge. <clears throat> there is a bustle of people going across the bridge in the foreground. Now let's look at the 1885 version of the Bridge of Sighs. He has corrected the mirror image and the Doge's Palace now appears on the right and the prison appears on the left. He has done <clears throat> uh, more with linear hatching uh, and there is a deeper perspective. This view takes you back to uh, the Bay of San Marco. But what you notice, perhaps the greatest difference, is the small gondolier <clears throat> going under the bridge. This was a correction that he made, uh, and um, this is one of the reasons that uh, he <clears throat> corrected the view of the Bridge of Sighs. If you were a tourist, you would, and you saw the first version, you would realize that it was confusing because the Doge's Palace was on the left and the prison was on the right. Whereas in reality, in the second version, the Doge's Palace is on the right and on the left is the prison. One today can actually go across that bridge and peer out toward the um, Bay of San Marco. <clears throat> and what he has done with the people cu cu crossing the bridge is that he has again done some modification uh, and changed the, p the patricians and the workers crossing the bridge. I encourage you to visit the exhibition. Uh, we have time tickets. Uh, you can go to the exhibition Thursday through Sunday on the normal visiting hours. Please check our website. 